This video is sponsored by PCBWay.com. PCBWay is one of the largest professional PCB manufacturer from China. I bought the PCB along with some other products from PCBWay gift shop for really low price. I bought them using beans which I got by sharing my projects in the PCBWay shared project page. I'll leave a link to that in the video description. By the way PCBWay's annual big sale is currently going on, in which you can participate and get free gifts, coupons, cash reward, PCBWay beans and many more exciting prizes. Hurry up before the deals end it. Thank you PCB Way for such quality services. I must have say that the build quality of the PCB are really amazing. 10 high quality PCB for only $5. Upload your gerber files to get high quality PCB from PCB Way. This is my PCB Santa Claus project that I made for upcoming Christmas. As you can see the boards looks really nice and cool just as I wanted it to be. All the copper layers and silk screen layers I used for detailing are placed perfectly. Although it will look better if the surface finish was ENIG instead of HASL. But that would add up the overall cost so can't really do much about it. Nevertheless I'm more than happy with the results. Now the components we'll need to build this are CD4017 Decade Counter IC, 555 Timer IC, 10 Microfert Capacitor, 10K Ohm Potentiometer and 10 LEDs of various colors. Since most of the top part of the PCB covered with copper for detailing. So there's no place left for THT ICs and I don't have SMD versions of this ICs. Therefore I have to come up with this SMD THT hybrid footprints for the ICs. You will need to bend the IC legs like this, with the help of any flat tool you might have around. Then cut the excess parts. In this way the IC will fit perfectly on the PCB. After that was done you'll end up with something like this. Do the same for both the ICs. I made a little mistake on the PCB, while making the custom footprint for the IC. The pin direction are flipped, so the CD4017 IC needs to be upside down. Other than that this works pretty well. Then I solder the IC onto the PCB carefully. This was quite easy and fun job. I soldered the triple 5 timer IC in the same manner. To solder the eye LEDs first you need to push the LED through the hole. Then bend the legs and solder them to the corresponding pads.
cut the excess parts afterwards. While soldering the LEDs keep in mind, that the square footprints are for the negative leads of the LED. Finally, I sold the rest of the components as well. After soldering all the components it looks something like this. There are two pads on the bottom for powering the whole circuit. I soldered a pair of male header pins for power connectors which acts as a standoff too. I place the PCB on a breadboard and connect to a 5 volt power supply. It looks amazing, isn't it? Thank you for watching. Please like the video and subscribe for more such contents.